here it is guys we just found the david's uh, meat, meat shop or meats so look at that there's a lot of people here <laughs> you know i always counted people and vehicle as people <laughs> there yep there it is since 1916 imagine that it's going so guys, what I want to get out from here or to get or to buy from here is, is like that. I can get like four pounds of uh, pork belly. So I might make some humba. Oh, <laughs> so we'll see. So my husband was just telling me that this is a new store. Even though they were in business since 1916, this is a, a new store. So I'm just gonna look around, for, look around, see, ask. So all they have, like Harry said, they have barbecue ribs, and then they have pork butts, <laughs> smoke of course. But they made it all or cook them all in here. It's nothing like in the grocery. You know that, like I said, it's like uh, uh, they got it in one place and deliver it into each franchise. This is actually local. Very speaking of very local store, guys. There's a ham. And then so I send my husband to ask them if they have like a pork belly. So oh, there's a my husband likes their bologna. Wow, German bologna. What did it say? Yeah, eleven dollars per pound for German bologna. And so now this one here, but you can have it sliced. Five dollars. This one here, this is the German bologna. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars and nine cents per pound. And so this is like their cold cuts or cold cook, cold products here. So, so they have all the cheeses too. <laughs> My favorite is Lano Likes and of course the Gouda. That's my favorite uh, cheese. So they have, yeah, they have mozzarella. See, it's kind of like a mini grocery store. It's almost like, it's almost like a, it's almost like a general store somewhat. It's got a little bit of everything because they are kind of like far from the uh, big, like a supermarket. There you go. Oh, look at that. All that cheese is guys. On this side, my husband. Oh, oh, look at this! Look at that. They're like the bone and smoke for a point. Wow, four five dollars a pound. Wow, it's like I'm just getting. I get crazy with all the meats around bacon boots. Wow. So, yeah, that's my. <laughs> They all do, see they cut the they cut their meats over there too. That's the line for your cold cuts and stuff. Okay. okay. Right. Cheese and meat all the way. See how the long. Yeah. Now they have uh, fresh meat here. Ah, there it is. But their pork belly does not have skin on. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask them. Oh. Wow, they have liver. I might get this uh, liver. Hmm. Can I get uh, like three or four pounds of pork belly with skin? No? Skin on. Oh, so you don't have it back there? Okay, okay, okay. Oh guys, I am so disappointed. He said, of course, it's only an Asian market where we can get that skin on. The American way, they always take the skin off. So that's what they're selling. But he says he's going to check it for me. See if I can get um, see if I can get the skin on pork belly. Otherwise, I'll go back to the Asian market. <laughs> so, wow. It's interesting. But hey, I learned something every day. Something new every day, right? Ah.
Hmm. I know, I'm kind of debating what to get here. See, look at this, guys. This store is so packed. It's because, like, you know, they butcher their their uh, meat weekly. So, you know, and that's why they get a lot of people line up here just to get the fish meat. <laughs> so, yeah, this is so fun. It is kind of fun for me after all that looking at all that car <laughs> at the car show so i was gonna look at here guys i know they have some i just saw something they have they sell alcohol as well passes and here they have their own jam they make the strawberry jam they make strawberry jam and then they have their triple berry and then they have the roasted pineapple habanero. Oh, I like this hot pepper. I already got one from the farmer's market last week. So, and they have their pumpkin butter root beer. Okay, there's the bacon jam. There you go. Now, I know I don't have to drive very far then if I need that. So, and this is spicy bacon jam. Wow. That's like heart attack on a plate with my cholesterol. <laughs> I know, and there are. Okay, so this is about the same t uh, the same price what we get at the farmers market. It's five ninety nine a jar. So yeah, something new to me. I know now where to get. I don't have to drive. We do not have to drive very far, and it's like I said, still local. It's almost like one of those. Uh, one of those like a farmer's market but bigger that is now this one here it says old-fashioned sauerkraut to me it's kind of looks like this one of those chow chow oh. <laughs> I find a lot of things in here guys so it's interesting how what so we are they have this day wig meat they have their own roaster smoker no they pork processing they 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 Butcher pigs and cook them. However. Smoke them, right? Yeah. So we're gonna so check do, out their they, smoker they, house. They, they do ribs in there and pork butts. And yeah, we're gonna there see. Might be somebody you can talk to. Yeah, maybe they're they're doing their. You can uh, order a pig and have it cooked here. Lechon? <laughs> well, not that way. So this is this the. Is oh look at that smart car. Oh this okay. So nobody's here, but then all their, oh they're all kind of like oh Scott. Yeah, no, and also their smoking is pretty much electric and they have all their, for example, this one here is just hickory pit. So that's the flavoring, smoke flavor, hickory flavor. Hmm. And this one here too, so interesting. So, and it's like more on a trailer, hang on. Yeah, they are kind of like in a trailer so that you can, they just can like trailer it somewhere. They have their exhaust up there. Wow, <laughs> it's, to me it's really fascinating. I know people, uh, you guys probably don't, it doesn't probably fascinate you, but it fascinates me. So, and this is, I'm right here. This is where they put their kind of uh, chips, wooden chips with, uh, with a different kind of uh, flavoring. When I say flavoring, the different kind of smoke flavor. So guys, I asked my husband to stop by at the international store and I just kind of bought some uh, uh, sweet potatoes here. Just a sec. So I just went ahead and got my, this is this is the uh, purple sweet potato. Right now it's just look like white or you know, beige color. But inside here, that's like, that's the sweet potato. So, and this is so expensive. To me, that's expensive guys for this like how many uh five pieces it's almost nine dollars for that and then i went ahead and get the red sweet potato this one here <laughs> can you tell me guys i'm doing like my whole <laughs> well my husband is driving but yes i got this one and this is cheap uh cheaper they're like a dollar 59 a pound so but it's good also <laughs> and so guys i'm gonna show you the highlight i'm already back i'm already back in my garage anyway my husband's garage anyway i'm gonna show you the highlight of our asian market stuff and of course you saw my uh, sweet potatoes for different kinds and this one here look look what i have here guys they are so nice and 
well and alive hang on yep this is my highlights for my asian stuff i think i have four of them there four let's see i would like to rake and be mad maybe <laughs> let me just do this they might bite me too or pinch me but listen they don't have tongue they don't have okay they don't have mouth but you know that pincher see that's alive so anyway i went ahead and got four of them and they're all female see what happened guys see if it's probably like the you know the nice uh fat ones so i'm gonna have probably i'm gonna have this for my dinner tonight and also what uh what we bought at the uh, d wig uh d wig uh, uh meats or the you know the butcher shop here's what i got what we get from the butcher shop of course huh, let me see just put that in there that's the receipt <laughs> so my hobby's favorite is german bologna so it's like a mini sausage a big sausage i mean like a huge sausage but um german bologna he likes this one a lot for like sandwiches you know for um for his let me see for his uh lunch meat um lunch sandwiches for work and then oh that's water <laughs> i was like oh what's this that's water and so we get this one too oh guys this is a beef leg it's like with bone marrow so i am gonna you make a soup out of this i know it's packaged still but anyway i'm gonna make a soup out of it with uh, and then i'm gonna put kale you know the baby kale leaf not the cuts uh, baby baby kale but it's like the whole leaf i'll put it in there so that would be this would be one of my um uh midweek you know um dinner next is we have that one next is uh, okay my husband oh i'm gonna show this to you guys later too he said there is another huge chunk of bologna like three pounds of bologna he said he is going to smoke this one and i'm gonna definitely will show you guys the smoked bologna and then we have steak here we have what kind of steak we have it's a ribeye steaks there's uh oh a pound and a half almost well a pound and a quarter of uh, ribeye steaks so there's two slices in there and then two last but not the least we get the poly sausage and i'm doing it in in the back of my husband's truck so yeah we have the poly sausage so that's our run around for today guys <laughs> it's kind of like bologna and more bologna you know german bologna we sell them i mean when you go to the store what they have like at uh, walmart or costco or um uh what should we call it Sam's Club, all they have is just a regular bologna. So this one here at Dewey's, they have that German bologna. So the difference is the uh, seasoning will be different, you know. It's German bologna, of course. <laughs> so that's the difference is the seasoning. And I think how they process it too, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But of course, I'll stick to my crabs. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had this... Uh, I don't know what you call that crab in the native tongue, but yeah, I haven't had that. I haven't bought any of the crabs from the Asian store. I'm going to put it on the, I'm going to let it kind of wash it, guys, just a second. So here it is, guys. I am going to, I know that's my empty hair. I'm just going to pour my crabs in there. Yay. Oh, 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 oh they're so, see, they're trying to kind of fight against me here. Yeah, let me just, uh oh. These two are they still, these two are kind of like, okay. Let me see, I have to do like this. I was like, these two, hmm, kind of stink. <laughs> kind of stink. I know, what's out the pincher? There. See, those two, oh, they're so, are still very, very alive. This one here, this, uh, okay, I got that one out. But you wanna, you wanna play with my crabs? <laughs> So I'm just gonna let it soak, I guess, kind of like make them clean themselves itself. Oh, there's another one. Okay, here's the... Okay, here you go. So, yeah, I... Yeah, I'm already... It's like, yeah, I keep saying, yeah, it's kind of stinks. <laughs> but, see, they should... Okay. They should kind of let them... 
let them uh, kind of, I don't know, breathe or whatever. Oh, see, see, I can tell right now. Hang on, I'm going to show. I can tell right now the the water, it's dark. So that means they are dirty, of course. Oh, did you see that, guys? It's breathing. <laughs> it's so, and I like this one. This is kind of like the, uh, the blue, is that a blue crab or the dungeness crab? I don't know what kind of crabs are this. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one here. Uh oh, this is so alive. Oh, this one here. That's, oh, oh, come on, let's go. This one, guys, he grabbed a hold of the other crab's pincher. <laughs> Obviously, I like, I'm liking this, playing with this. Uh -huh. Look at this, guys. He's fighting me. He's trying to run around. Come on, come on. <laughs> I don't remember doing this at home. But nevertheless, it's kind of fun. It's not, it's not, oh, it's not fun, but it is fun. Oh my goodness. See these guys? I don't know. See this one guy? He grabbed a hold of the other crab's pincher. Now this one here is only have one pincher left. He might be dying here too, but yeah. I'm going to change water here. And if you see how the water gets dark so quick. So I'm going to get rid of that. So let them kind of. Clean themselves out, all right? Give them a bath, I should say. Let them do the bath themselves. And then uh, I'm going to cook them before they kind of start dying. Because I think, I think, guys, when they start dying, that's when they start kind of losing their, losing their, uh, their fat. You know, aligi. Yeah, I remember that aligi. Uh-oh, I like the aligi better. So, I just pour the water down and just get another more water here. Another round of their bath guys. Hopefully they're still alive here and then they can they can have their own bath. I thought I have four. I only have three. I can't count then. Oh, I thought I have four. Oh well, so actually there, let me see, let me just make sure. I paid eleven dollars. Yeah, it is four. Yeah. It's the small one here. So anyway, anyway, I spent eleven dollars and sixty-three cents for these four little guys. It better be good, huh? Oh well, sometimes it's just like that's how much that's want. That's how much you pay if you really want something new or something different, like especially these crabs. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching. I am enjoying my uh, my crabs here. And of course, thank you so much for watching for my short video, my short, my video, my vlogs for today. It's kind of like most of them are like uh, pretty much uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's a mixture of everything. Bye. So guys, here's my boiling water and I am going to put in, <laughs> dip in or like, you know, my, uh, my crumbs. Let me see. I... I don't remember how this is how we do it back home, but maybe it will come back to me. But I'm just gonna put the crabs in there. Here's my crabs. It's not alive, like I said. Oops. So here, I'll take it over there. Killing my crabs softly, right? <laughs> Let's see what happens, guys. Next, that's one. Oh, this not bad. He went in. She went in there, nice and easy. And there's my five. I still have one here. Oh, okay. That's another. That's my second one. Here's my third one here. Okay. Even, hey, all is well. Seems like it. Uh oh. No, I have two. Uh oh, pincher that's left here. Let me see. Here's, my goodness. This one is a little feisty. They are all in way, but there you are. That's her. And just do it in fast and easy. So I am not a, a, a crab killer at all, after all, as I thought I am. Um, they're not fighting or anything, but yeah, I'm just going to give it like a minute. And then it's just going to like blanch them, so to speak, so that all the meat are like nice and sweet and tastes sweet. That is exactly, I guess that's what I'm, that's what I'm after for. But anyway, uh, my dinner tonight, guys, crabs. <laughs> Guys, after that one minute, actually I made it to just make sure that, uh, you know, they're fully cooked. But anyway, I am putting them on top of the 
uh, ice so that it will it will not continue cooking so that's i think that's how i do but hey everybody's the same you guys tell me how you do yours and just like last time when i did the shrimp somebody someone one of you guys was telling me to cook the shrimp with uh, sprite and yeah it turns out good and i actually did that and it was good and i kind of i like doing that from now on or from then on so this is my first crab I ever cooked for a long long time so comment below if you have any suggestion aside from coconut milk because i just cannot i eat benignit or porridge with coconut milk but but not on vegetables and on food it's just me you know so comment below and let me know guys so here's the uh of course uh we bought this uh german bologna at the d wigs and my husband actually he smoked it so this is the ger smoked german bologna and that looks good oh that looks good. It looks like like a ham, you know. Then you can just uh, uh, glaze it with honey. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's we're uh, we're gonna have this a lot uh, a piece of this for dinner tonight, guys. Smoked German bologna.